Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I achieve just this. So how can I send uh, an API request to an endpoint of mine, which is self-hosted on translate.mybookquest.com slash translate, which I can send any text in any language and auto detect the language uh, or specify it and basically get a uh, return translate text directly from the endpoint. So I'm gonna show you how I did that by self-hosting it with uh, Coolify and how you can do it too, just right now. So first things first, what you're gonna wanna do is basically uh, host a Coolify instance if you don't have one. Uh, so what I suggest doing is uh, going to check my other videos if you didn't do that. Um, I explain in detail how to do that. Uh, but right after that, what we're gonna do is use a library called uh, Libre Tran Translate, um, which basically um, is on Docker, which is public. Um, they have a website you can check out too. Uh, but basically you can set any fetch request to this endpoint and it's gonna return you uh, translate they have different parameters if you want to check the page um, but basically what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to come in um, I'm just gonna copy the um, docker compose just like that so you're gonna want to come to uh, your environments go to uh, your project let's take the test one so now you're gonna click on add new resource and once you're in the new resource section, you're gonna click uh, Docker Compose empty and you're gonna paste the Docker Compose that I'm gonna put in the description. Um, and what that will allow you to do is create a brand new container for uh, your translate. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is uh, click save just like that. It's gonna send you to the configuration uh, page just like that. Uh, and it's gonna show you uh, basically the single container you're gonna have this service uh, So you, you're gonna click deploy just right there And as you can see right now, it's just gonna deploy the container with the image that it's gonna pull from um, The Libre translate library So let's just wait for it to uh, download and install Okay, so right now I'm getting that error since my port is already allocated So what I'm gonna do uh, is basically change the port uh, which you can choose by um, just changing it in the docker compose file um, and then we're just gonna redeploy again all right so right now uh, as we can see um, we have uh, basically built a container let's just refresh the page and the container is running uh, it's on LT because it just started you can check the logs right here click stream logs and refresh and you're gonna see it's gonna start downloading all the um, languages basically that are needed for it to work uh, and once you finish downloading all the language uh, it's all gonna do it by itself once you finish this we're gonna be able to ping that endpoint uh, right after that all right so now you guys uh, you can see that all the languages are downloaded so you're gonna be able right now to start pinging the endpoint um, so what you're going to do is basically click on configuration and you're going to see here the uh, basically the service uh, just right here and you could add your domain right here so uh, in my case uh, we can go look at the configuration I did but I would go to Libre Translate just right here and what I would do is uh, basically use uh, HTTPS uh, dot dot slash slash translate mybookquest.com um, your two dots and the port you've used in the docker compose um, and you basically will need to create a record in your uh, Cloudflare so in my case I created uh, a record for translate at the same IP of the, the server and uh, what that will give you is basically um, an endpoint you can ping so you can just send a request you're gonna get the translated text uh, there's also the opportunity to use uh, API keys um, for securizing uh, the, the endpoint. So you could uh, add the flag API keys, which uh, also allows you to make it more secure uh, for your app. Um, and also if you're using it in production, I suggest using that. Um, and I'm just gonna wanna show you the use case of why I used it. So in my case, I was using it uh, for my app, uh, myrequest.com, if you don't know. Uh, and basically, we have a feature right here where we can uh, translate uh, any text. So what uh, we want to do is basically select 
uh, an output text and uh, translate uh, some text so I can say I my name is Theo I can clear translate and it's gonna replace the text in the select um, uh, in the input sorry um, for sure it's, it's not the fastest uh, but it's still a really um, like easy to implement um, process and it's free because uh, if you go with the Google Translate way it's gonna be uh, paid and uh, I don't want to pay for that so go to uh, Coolify to do that I'm gonna put the docker compost in the description and I'm, I'm also going to uh, uh, send you an example query in the description so you can uh, try it yourself enjoy guys